Today I'm attempting something that could either be epic or a total disaster. I'm building the FT Retro Rocket. One of the wildest looking RC planes flight test has ever designed. And I'm doing it from scratch. No kits, no shortcuts, just plans, foam board, and a lot of hot glue and optimism. This is a full step-by-step -step journey to a plane that actually built quite smooth. A little too smooth. But just because it looks good doesn't mean that it will fly. Planes can be unforgiving and this retro rocket has never seen air before. If this plane takes off clearly, it's going to be legendary. And if it doesn't, well, at least it was fun to watch. Hit that subscribe button before I hit full throttle and let's take this RC retro rocket to the moon. So the first thing that we have to do is cut out all the borders from all the pages. That way we can connect the pages together and create strips. These strips are later glued together to create larger pieces of paper. Uh, basically the entire plan, which I later cut into smaller parts. That way I can glue them onto the foam board, saving as ro much room as possible, using up as much foam as possible. Uh, I later cut out the parts into smaller pieces. That way when I try to score cut them or cut the general shape, it is much easier because I can rotate them on the cutting mat. Afterwards, once we're done with that, we'll start building. So these are all the pieces ready to be built. First thing to do by the build video is the wing and the wing is done. Very easy to build. Getting out all the pieces for the fuselage and the fuselage is coming along together quite well. Here's a little closer shot of what I built. Not a lot that is left to be done. Ooh, looking good together from another angle, of course. And let's add the nose cone, but we're missing the tail fins. So let's get the tail fin. Let's think of a design. Well, these are the options that Flight Test recommends. Meanwhile, let's print out the 3D thrust vectoring system by John Becker. We'll also print out his steerable nose wheel. This is how it looks once completed. I didn't have any tires, so I ended up modeling a few of those. If any of you are interested, just let me know in the comments below and I'll post the STL files. So let's test out the thrust vectoring system, see how it works. This is using a servo tester, so it only moves one way. Now let's set it up on our transmitter. <laughs> Working perfect. Now let's paint. So we're always under that street light next to the recycling center. Looking good so far. And this is how it looks done under normal light. All right, time to create some decals. Me and ChatGPT, of course. Time to put the decals on the plane and add a little bit of a modification to it. I think this way it looks cooler. What do you guys think? Nah, just kidding. This is how it looks at the field, ready for flight with the actual decals on. All right, a little stress release and let's maiden. Yes, yes,
Madim. The retro rocket flew awesome, but there's still some work to do. I gotta tweak that thrust vectoring system with a mix to compensate for the crooked motor mount. Gotta dial in some rates and expos so that it will fly smoother and that front wheel it definitely needs some reinforcement. If you watch this far you definitely like this kind of content so hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see how I upgrade this beast even more. If you like this kind of content then you definitely like this video so hit it out, check it out until the next one.